Namaste. Hi Twin Flames. My name is Case and welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your February 2020 read. Okay, let's get the energy for this read. I can use the Traveler's Oracle. Energy for the person watching. Energy for the person watching. Okay, being very closed mouth these days. What's going on? Energy for the person watching. Okay. Well, we've got Desert Passage. Trust there is a divine path. Reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. And fellow travellers. Support is all around you. So the energy for the person watching is that you went out into the wilderness. You went out there with, you see, there's a lot of orange in this card. So you had a lot of drive and passion, you know, and you went out there. You see the sun up in the background. You are achieving what you went after. Because you reach that destination, whether you know it or not. You're calling in what you need. You've transformed. And you've gone through spiritual growth as well as being able to harmonize your life. And you're shining brightly, brightly, brightly. Your future is so bright. Everybody else is going to wear shades person watching you've had a lot of help a lot of spiritual guidance along the way you've held on to your rod of stability and you are reaching your pot of gold you have gone through some obstacles along this journey person watching and at times you felt very low but you always held on to this passionate new beginning that you envisioned for yourself and you're starting to see the fruits of your labor now. You don't need to hide your, your greatness under a bushel anymore, person watching. Energy for your person. Energy for your person. Energy for your person. Energy for your person. Okay. They have traveled lightly and they're staying focused. They're wanting a simple life right about now and they're holding a steady course right. But they're, they're still being the observers of your life. They're still focused on what you're doing, person watching. They've got powerful telescopes <laughs> to focus in on your light that's shining bright, person watching. Your person is still not taking on any responsibility they're not taking responsibility for their actions they're simplifying things in their life they're rewriting their story to the way they want it to be yeah they're packing their bag like they're what is it pack light like erica badu says they definitely pack light But they're still watching what you're doing. They're seeing your, sh your shine rise. You could be in the public eye person watching. They are definitely, definitely watching you. Yeah. And the energy for you guys is unknown territory. Person watching, you're seeing exactly where you want to be. You have wisdom, the wisdom of your experiences. And you've raised your vibration. And you're dancing to your own beat now. But not only that, people are dancing to the beat with you, person watching. 
let's get your energy we're going to use the all the cards are previously shuffled and i put the bands around them so that you could see the pre-shuffle message and your message person watching is the moon the moon is pisces energy okay pisces is about having faith and tapping into your intuition because there was deception, lies and trickery around you. Okay? This is about um, a negative mind narrative that you was going through as well. While you went through your metamorphosis, this change, this evolvement that you're going through person watching. Give it a quick shifty before you give it a hard shuffle. How does the person watching feel about themselves? Oh, okay. You have the Ace of Wands. This is a passionate new beginning for you. This is a new beginning in creativity. It also tells me you have a passionate romantic new beginning. One that has the real passion. Yeah. And it's being gifted to you by the universe because you did that work. You went into spiritual quarantine. And it was a long, hard journey. Because at the most of the time, you was fighting against yourself. You was fighting against your negative narrative that you had in your mind. But you beat that. You beat that shiznay. You did. This Ace of Wands is also telling me that because you did this work, new opportunities are being afforded to you at this time. This is your rebirth. What you was down while you was in your spiritual quarantine, you was working on your creative plans, on your life purpose. Person watching. Yeah. You was fighting with your own self in your mind, fighting for the new you. How do you feel about your person? I'm trying to do it like this, their little cousin or not. How you're feeling about your person right now? Yeah. Full of, full of drama. Drama is their name. Drama is their game. That's how you feel. Always are arguing. Narcissist. 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 <laughs> That's how you feel. You feel that they're up to their old tricks. You feel that they've gone off to go and ruin somebody else's life. You feel as though they're not your issue anymore. Your back is firmly turned because you're looking at the sea of wisdom. Can you see you in the distance? You've been washing your face and cleansing yourself with the sea of wisdom. That blue is telling me that you've got spiritual balance now and you're healing or you've healed. You've tapped into your intuition, your psychic abilities as far as this person is concerned. And everything in you, above and below, is telling you, no, 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 no. Let it go. It looks like another love TKO. Yo! <laughs> yes. Yes. You're shining, shining, shining. Mm -hmm. And they're watching you. They're watching you. They're getting Hercule Poirot up in this shiznay. They are on you. You must can feel the eyes on you. Yes. Okay. What is in your... Oh, see, I'm still wanting to shuffle away. I use normally shuffle. What is in the person watching? Block or blessing? Okay. We've got two coming out for you. Yeah. The karma card judgment. This is fire and water energy, as well as the planet Pluto. This is telling me that you are going for a major transformation that was divinely guided. You were supported along the way. Whether you, you heard it in a sentence, you was guided to watch videos on YouTube, whether it came from the mouth of a child, you were supported along the way. Your footsteps were guided. Look. 
you're showing up as the queen of swords right now you have the wisdom of your experiences as i said your intuition is super litty you've been divinely guided to this moment right here right now the queen of swords is somebody who's gone through split up breakup or divorce who has the wisdom of her experiences to guide her but you still have that soft side can you see the butterfly there that's your transformation yeah you're not gonna let no daleks up into your shizne now you are no look look you're above confusion and drama. Can you see yourself above them clouds? And you've taken that throne firmly, firmly. What can my person watching expect? What can my person watching expect? What can my person watching expect? This is no communication with your twin flame, but we have two cards that wouldn't go in. Three cards, actually. You can see you've got the three of cups, the four of cups, and the four card. The three of cups is telling me that you can expect to move away from third party situations. You can expect people coming to you with offers of love and romance because they see you as this, they see the new you. This is the full card. Full card is air energy as well as Uranus energy. You transformed in a big way. And they want to move to you now. These people that kept you up in third party situations. Right? Held you in situations that you needed to be set free. You had to set me free. That's what your soul said. And you listened, person watching, and you took that leap of faith. Look, the fool is looking at the Knight of Cups. You took that leap of faith into self-love. You loved on yourself, and that brought you enlightenment. Look, the yellow. The yellow is for you took an intellectual approach to find intellectual balance. Balance. Right, you're confident, your self esteem is up there because you it, listen, you deserve to be in this space right now. You earned that she's name, you did look. That king of one's energy, you're showing up as a leader, people are listening to what you're saying. You could be in the public light, you could have your own YouTube channel. Could be doing blogs, could be at work, but you're stand. Listen, you, you are showing up as a king amongst kings. Nobody can come and run a mock in your palace. This king of wands energy that you're exhibiting, person watching, you know how to protect yours. You're very charismatic. People are being drawn to you like bees to honey right now. Your word is mimosa for those who are listening, who are truly listening to what you're trying to put out there into the universe. Make sure this is in the upright. This is the energy, because I've shuffled the cards, as I said, I put the bands around it so that we can get the pre-shuffle energy. I shuffled and the pre, you know what I'm saying. Your person... This is um, Libra energy. This is justice. This is calm. This is the karma card. This is a karma card. Divine justice is being delivered to them. Whatever wrongs is being righted, they're being brought back into balance by the divine. They're getting blind justice. Yikes. They may want to put on a blindfold as they buckle up for this particular ride. Yes. They may well want to put on that blindfold. They're going to be getting what they deserve. This could be legal. This speaks of split up, break up, divorce, separation. But balance is being restored. Whether for the good or bad, only they can tell. 
you have these five of swords and one more sword, six of swords, you've pointed your vessel in a different direction, person watching, and you've decided to move on. Yeah. And they're watching, I told you, they're observing everything that you're doing. They're following your social media. They, if you've got children, they're questioning the youngins. Look. And they're looking enviously at your passionate new beginning. That's been handed to you by, by the divine. Yes. Okay. How they're feeling about themselves right now. They're waiting for their ships to come in. They feel as though they've set some plans into motion. The three of ones. And they're going ahead with these plans. They feel as though... Hold on a minute. Is that a chicken flying? It looks like a flying chicken, doesn't it? They're looking at the wasteland that they've created. That they've they set they've put forward ideas out there into the universe. Okay, how they're feeling about you? It's toxic. Yes. This is Capricorn energy. They're feeling that this bond that they had with you or had with you was toxic. They they they're having addictions right about now. They think that you are toxic. They're feeling that you're toxic. They're feeling that you may be addicted. They're feeling that you are going to be overpowered with negativity. But these are just their feelings. This is the feelings. This is how they're, they're turning the feelings that they have for themselves inside. They're putting it on you, person watching. Your person is very negative right now. Very, they're dark. Look. They're cloaked in depression and grief. And they're mourning your loss. Because you, you gave them the passion. Look. Look. They're looking back at what you what you used to do for them. Sexually. They're looking back at what at your creativity. How they put a damper on that. They're seeing you holding that passionate torch. And they're big mad. Big mad. Wow. What's in your person's watching block? Or blessing. Goodness. Okay, okay, folks. Let me ease myself away from the table. Everything's falling. I think this is the universe telling me to lubricate my throat chakra so I can release this tea. So I can deliver these mess or jars. Okay. They have the six of wands in reverse and they have the nine of cups in the upright. Whatever they went into, if we're going to be looking and judging from what's beside it, they were hoping for it to be successful. They did go into a union. And man, did they give that that their their new partner things? They went into that union with high falutin ideas. They felt like the returning king when they rode upon this person. They was they was handing out things to the villagers. Could be the person that's got children. Acting like the big big net was it the big the big, the big bulls, the big dog. But look, they got the six of ones in return, in return, in reverse, right? So this is telling me that they gave into a lot of temptations, yet a lot of negative temptations, because the person that they're with was low vibing. So they allowed themselves to be inveigled with sex, could be drugs, 
they, they was listening to a very negative narrative about you person watching. Mm -hmm. They thought they'd move towards their nine of cups, but in this deck, it shows me overindulgence. Overindulgence of, of carnal things. Those are the plans that they put in motion. Okay. That's why they're watching you. That's why they pegged light. Yeah. They're watching. Listen. Look. They're watching you, right? And look at their first thought is to pack their bag and go on a journey. Where do you think they want to go? Person watching. Possible outcome. We have the Queen of Cups here. This looks like a pregnancy. Somebody's holding on to a fish. They found out that they're holding on to a fish. <laughs> a fish. Amphibian. Is a fish amphibian? A fish is an amphibian. Or is it amphibian a frog? properly and bring in my all seeing eye yeah but there's one fish that's been chucked out on the side can you see it like somebody's done away with a pregnancy or missed a pregnancy and if you have my condolences This Queen of Cups looks conceited. This Queen of Cups is somebody in the... Okay, let me turn off the light. This Queen of Cups is, is coming across as being somebody... Look, she's conceited. What their possible outcome is that they're in a situation where No emotion is being poured back into them. And you know a fish is slippery when you try and hold it. They're trying to hold onto something that's slipping through their fingers. This overindulgence. Sorry, my incense fell down. So that's an omen. And while I'm we're on it, let me tell you what the incense of the day is. We've got the super hit, the combination of everything. Because we need it. See? All of the zodiac. Yes. We need this. Okay. As I was saying, I'm trying to escape again. As you can see, they've got cliff faces in the back. This is about their goals. Their goals have been cut off. The dreams that they had didn't come to fruition. You see this, like I said, the, the energy that I'm getting from this particular Queen of Cups, this is somebody who's very jealous and drama filled. They have a very bad temper. And they have a dependency due to the lack of their emotional stability. Hey, let's get some clarifiers up in here. Okay, we're going to 
clarify for you, Divine Femmes. Did I call you Divine Femmes? Please excuse me. Person watching, you could be male or female. Switch the gender around to suit your situation. And remember, these are general reads. You can contact me on frequencyphoenix555 at gmail for personal reading and pricings. Okay. Your energy is the page of wands. Like I said, you're looking towards this passionate new beginning. You was not ready for it, but you're bursting with creativity at this moment in time to allow that light to shine. You're working hard on something that is going to bring you back. Some, it's like I said, it's going to put you in the limelight. You're going to be out there. But even as I'm speaking, divide, I'm person watching, I don't see any pentacles in either of you guys' spread at this moment in time. We'll see as, as we move along. But I do see you, person watching. You are in the self-love tour 2020. Yes. And you're, like I said, your back is to anything that is deceptive. Sorry, that was my stomach. I haven't had my lunch yet. I'm working hard for my twin flames today. Right. Why is the Ace of Wands in the person's watching feelings about themselves? Okay. We have the Seven of Cups. It's telling me that the option, your focus, you've come out of confusion, okay? And your focus has brought options to you, but it's telling you also you have to choose wisely. You, as you, as you are the Queen of Wands, you have the wisdom of your experiences to understand and discern what is not for you. You've already been on that path, that path that took you through the dark night of the soul. And you ain't going back there no more, no more. Yeah, no, no. That is not your destination anymore. You have a lot of options. And like I said, you have to choose wisely. The Seven of Cups also tells me that you now have mental control. And that, my friends, is a divine gift. <laughs> okay? It's also telling me that those rose-colored glasses that you had on in life, you took them bitches off, folded them, put them on the ground, Drove your car over and backed right up over that shit. You are not wearing no tinted spectacles. No more. No more. Right? Look. Eight of Pentacles. I told you your money's coming out, person watching. You have been educating yourself, as we've been saying all throughout this reading. Right? You've been trusting in your divine path. Your divine plan. Look. Holding on to your rod of stability. Stability. Can't even say it now. Stability. That rod for your passionate new beginning. That passion that's coming towards you. You're being supported. You've educated yourself on new things. And these new things that you've educated yourself on is, gonna, is bringing abundance to you. Untold abundance. And people are watching. You are a shining example to anyone watching. Well, you're moving towards your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment person watching. Look, King of Wands energy showing up twice for you. Two different decks. You're showing up for yourself big time. This could also be a king of wands coming towards you because you do have two kings. Let me lay him here just in case. Because we will come back and put one on him at the ending of this, this particular lineup. Yeah, look. Knight of Pentacles, you're making slow and steady progress. You've made stable plans for yourself. This could also mean this king of wands is slowly coming to you. You haven't met this person yet. And you are not categorically taking any offers from the past. Your arms and your legs are, are closed. You see that as 
the same merriment, free perp, free party situation they'd want to have you in. But I see this as the opportunities and invitations that are coming towards you. That person is seeing you as a missed opportunity. You feel that this person is very narcissistic. They went below the belt with their words. Look, what's this? You have the Ten of Cups and the Page of Swords. It was fake. You're, you're, tell, you're seeing the situation that you was in. It wasn't Ten of Cups. Your emotional fulfillment was always being cut out by this person. They used the information that they gathered on you in the relationship to cut you. Page of Swords is air energy. This also tells me that it was a lot of immature energy that was that was floating around. Heartbreaking energy. Because look, they're holding up the two of swords. The Page of Swords is holding up love one third party situation, heartbreak. That's what you're seeing from that situation. That's how you see that person. The gather of information. This per you see, that's that's what I'm saying about. The verbal abuse, emotional abuse. These narcissistic people, these bullies, gather. The, you know, you're you're just sharing your soul because you're in you're in a relationship that you felt was grounded, and they're just they're they're writing it down to use against you, striking below the belt many times. In your blocks of blessings, you have the judgment card. Person watching, it's telling me that. You was divinely guided to move on from that situation because everybody's back is turned to this narcissist and that narcissistic situation, that fugazi situation. Okay? You have the wisdom of your experiences now and you're being divinely guided to transform, to move on, to ascend because you are above that confusion right now. One more on the Queen of Swords and the Judgment card, the Karma card person watching look another major arcana world card yeah you've been divinely guided to, to, to turn the page shut the book seal it with super glue and bury it under that old old tree right the world card comes in with earth energy as well as saturn energy okay this is about you putting up your restrictions Putting in, can I say, boundaries. Cutting out all this pessimism that was in your life. And creating structure and stability for yourself. With this gift that you're sharing with others. Look. The Ace of Swords. The Queen is holding up the Ace of Swords. And her Ace of Swords. And your Ace of Swords is here as well. You made a head over heart decision to cut out Bull Swanky. Look, and you hauled ass, you took your kids if you've got children. And you moved to Carmel Waters, you pointed yourself in a different direction. And good for you, it was the direction the divine was guiding you in. Away, look. Away from that heartbreak, that this heartbreak, that heartbreak, deceit, that deception. That sadness and loss that was cloaking you. In your outcome, person watching, we have the Three of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Four. The Four. And like I said, you took this leap of faith into self love. Excuse me. Okay? Your back is to any shenanigans in the past. Okay? One on that, yeah. Look, it fell on me, and then it it, it did a spinner room. You're no longer mentally bound to any past situations. You've let it go, but they want to rush back in. This in and out person, this in and out person, want to come back to come mess up your shizne. They want a passionate new beginning. Good God, no, no. Red flag, red flag, alert, alert, alert. They want to come back. 
it's pissed me off. They see you as their destiny. They see you as their fate. Okay. Now that you healed yourself, turned your back from all the drama and BS, didn't play into it, focused on you, right? Got your beauty sleep, moisturized. You might even have dared to go to the gym. Good Lord. Focused on learning new things. The pentacles are coming back for you. They want to come back. Okay, let's clarify. And on the base of their deck, in pre-shuffle, they have a lack of focus. They feel as though the choice they made, they didn't choose wisely. They felt that they had many options. Let me put that there. They felt that their ships was going to come in with this new direction that they'd gone in. Your person felt this. One more on the Seven of Cups. Goodness gracious. How they're feeling about themselves right now. They're the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This chick not only in reverse, she, she pulled a stone throne round. Just imagine how much strength that took to pull it round. Okay, straight off the bat, their money's funny. <laughs> Umsa-ever they picked. They picked listen they thought they had a bottom bitch and they really did have a bottom bitch this chick ain't really got no pentacles it was the gold dust woman they thought they had options they 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 chose the gold dust woman or the gold dust man yeah who showed them a thing or two about a thing or two if you get my drift they lived through some shit listen some of the stuff that these two did together oh where's my super hit let me pass it over the cards and pass it back again and go right back just in case. Make sure it don't spin out again. Let me put let me put this back in its proper purchase. Like I said, they chose the gold dust woman or man. And there's a lot of codependency in the situation where they are right now. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse could also speak of a job loss for your twin flame, for your person, person watching. Their pentacles has gone down since they've been in this situation. Either them or them or the person they're dealing with has been found to be unmasked, to be a cheater and a liar. And they're very jealous of your... Their, their person is jealous of you. They're jealous of you. They're jealous of you. This also speaks of a loss, split up or separation that they're feeling right now. They're feeling the loss of you person watching this they're feeling it now yeah they see the truth of their nefarious ways and it's got them in mental mental turmoil right now they're up in their head and in their feelings told you they're watching you and they want to run to you they want to rush back Hey, okay. How they're feeling about you? They think that you think they're toxic. Yes. You think they're toxic and they think you think they're toxic. You think alike. You're mirroring each other. One on, on the devil card can call energy. Yeah. This is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Goodness gracious. They really are in an in a, in a unhealthy situation right now. The King of Pentacles in reverse, right? This is somebody that does shady business deals. They think that they want to think that what you're doing right now is shady. They think that what the path that you've chosen it's shady. It's like a backdoor thing that they're doing. They don't see no value in what you're doing. They try, they're pouring. They're pour, goodness gracious. They want to pour acid on you from a distance. Goodness. Wow. Whoa. Right. Also, right, with this King of Pentacles, right? They're very cold, emotionally cold. They feel that you are emotionally cold to them. 
and they fear. They're in anxiety over the lack. Because like I said, you cut, you cut them off immediately because of their immature actions and behavior, their narcissistic behavior. They know that they have been shady towards you. They know that they've lied, they've cheated. They know that they was not spending or giving the coin the way that they should. Child, person watching, was you being a builder bear? Was you Captain Saver Ho? Hope you come out of that. Look. They see that you're no longer sacrificing yourself to that situation. You come off of that cross, madam or sir. You're no longer martyr. They see that you're not a martyr to their bullshit anymore. One more on this King of Pentacles in reverse for your person. Whoa. Yeah. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of Kung Fu fighting going on around where they are. A lot of negativity. A lot of competing. The five speaks about um, conflict. Lots of arguing. Oh, okay. And they're refusing to make the choice to let go. I told you because they're codependent. Look, as I was saying it, look what turned around. The devil card again. Let me lay it here. They're codependent on the person that they're with. And you see in this particular devil, the back is turned. They're closing their eyes to the fact that it's a toxic, unhealthy situation that they're, they're, they're not going to get no successful success in. They're still overindulging. It could be in anything. It could be drugs, alcohol. They're still overindulging with this Queen of Cups person, this emotionless female that cheats on them. And it could be anything how that she's cheating. She could have gotten rid of her pregnancy because she didn't know who the father may be. She could be emotionally cheating. She could be withholding her emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're still trying to... They're still pouring into a situation that they know is not their 11 and 11. Okay, what is, what's this? Look. There's still secrets. There's, there's cheating going on in there. There's a lot of secrets. This is the, the high priestess with her back turned. There's a lot of cheating going on in that situation. There's also a lot of gossip. But they're both wise. You see the owl? The owl's looking at us. They, they're wise to what's going on. They know that they're, they're playing each other. The players are being played and they know they're being played. Good golly gosh. Shenanigans. Okay. We'll come to that one. Okay, in their blocks and blessings, we have the six of ones in reverse and the nine of cups in the upright. What's that card, bro? Oh, it did, it did a spin around and came back underneath me. Yeah, we have the world card in reverse. This is telling me that. They're not, they're not um, turning the page. They're very close-minded and stubborn. There's a lot of mistrust where they are. The world card comes in again with um, Saturn energy. There's no stability and structure in their environment at this moment in time. And you see the Queen of Swords is pointing towards that. They're wanting to cut it out. They're wanting to to um, be, they want they want to be single. They want to be a single from this emotionless person that they've tied themselves to. They want to be they want to split up, separation, divorce. They want they want to, they want out. They're feeling very negative in that because you see the back is the back is towards us. This is telling me that this is um, Leo energy. They invested a lot into that situation. They gave that purse pentacles, and they're looking at what they invest, but their focus shouldn't be on the pentacles. The focus should be on separating themselves and healing. They need to separate themselves and heal in order to achieve spiritual growth. They need to separate themselves from that situation, Leo energy. Okay, Leo energy is telling me that they're not ex they're not expressing themselves and they're not feeling confident at this moment in time because they're offering to others or their person is offering to others. Look, 
They're taking their money and giving it to others. Hey! Okay. So we see what's going on in this little melee. That person wants out. They want to get gone. They want to travel light. They want to sneak away. Because what they're observing in you, person watching, is abundance, gifts, gifts from the universe. I'm going to get some final messages and wrap this chisney up. Put some, put these back in so that I can give them a shuffle and put them back under the band later. So that we can get this energy for the next week. Okay, um, yeah. Where's my oracle deck? We're going to go to the witch's oracle for this. Okay, person watching. We're going to go with your person. What is the final message for your person? Goodness gracious. They have the healer in reverse. They have ethos. They've got the rules in reverse. And they've got the incubation, the rebirth in reverse. So your person. Okay, let me, let me slide back up to the deck. Your person is not healing. Okay. They haven't got no healing where they are right now. There's no, there's a lot of disharmony. See that black crow? The black crow is even upside and down. So they've been getting um, news of bad news, bad luck. They're unable to see, to see the light, to see the up from their situation. They're living in circumstances where there is no boundaries, where there is no rules, where anything goes. And they're stagnant and they're stuck. They don't know how to break out of this situation. They're feeling very small right now. And they're looking back at how the situation that they're in is. There's no boundaries, look. There's no boundaries. See the light is being shined back on that. And look, the stars are highlighting each of the rules, the rules that have always been crossed in the situation that they're in. With this queen of, this upside down, back to front queen of cups. They want to they wanna be separate, I told you. Set me free. Set me free. They want to sneak away. Okay. Final messages for my person watching. As they travel to their destiny, they be divine the organ. Okay. Okay. And the one that fell on the floor. You've got containment cauldron in the reverse. All of them gifts that you had inside, those spiritual gifts, they're spilling out now. And look, this looks like a spotlight on you, person watching. You use your imagination, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? To draw what you wanted down. Because look, the divine is blowing you a kiss, person watching. You drew what you wanted down from the 5D. You didn't even know what you was doing. But you did it anyway. And you set yourself up for fame, riches. Because you learn. You see? This is, the, this is like the Ace of Swords. You've got clarity of the situation. You have clarity and understanding of yourself. Because you've been pouring back into yourself. You've been loving yourself. You've been learning yourself. You poured back into yourself, okay? You've made a decision to cut anything that no longer serves you out. Look, your back is to what does not serve you. And you're flying away. You're flying high. You've got no time for the chicken heads on the floor with their drama. The eagle is too busy flying high. Yes. You did a full 360 turnaround person watching. Yeah. You ain't got no time for your, this BS. You're too busy combing through your 26-inch Brazilian hair. Okay. That was the February 2020 read for the, for the person watching 
and their person the twin flame read okay please thumbs up and subscribe support your girl hit that notification bell so that you know when i'm uploading some more of these messages and share these messages with whomsoever you feel needs it also comment because the brothers and sisters need that they need to be feel encouraged to know that they're on the right path the glow up tour all 2020 okay and also if you require a personal read from me, please email me at frequencyphoenix555 at gmail.com. Let me, let me bring this up. Yeah. Okay. And as I always say and continue to say, from the ashes, baby, namaste.